Today we have an SMTP Relay Setup Tutorial. So for email, using an SMTP Relay is a great idea. It's going to solve a lot of common email issues. If your VPS has problems not sending emails, emails not getting through, using this SMTP Relay method is going to be very helpful. So I'm using CyberPanel to do this, but basically any uh, Ubuntu setup using Postfix can use this method as well, but I'm using CyberPanel because in my last tutorial we used CyberPanel. So it's going to solve a lot of issues for the people who watch that video. So if you've got problems with port 25 blocking your emails from getting through, or if you are having issues with a lot of emails going to spam because you don't have reverse DNS, I notice on Oracle free tier, we don't get reverse DNS. So a lot of emails probably will end up in spam um, unless we add this SMTP relay. So all this is going to be pretty helpful if you're having these common issues. Also, you can avoid these issues by using a good host that allows port 25 and provides reverse DNS. So Vulture, Hetzner, Contabo. I've done two tutorials for those in the past. I'll put those in the description. But um, if you use one of those, you should be able to set this up without SMTP relay. You can send as many emails as you like. Don't spam, but send as many as you like. Um, you may not get port 25 out of the box. Sometimes you have to ask the support to set it up for you, but um, you can totally get these working just fine without an SMTP relay. And also I'll add that in my next video, I'll do this using Hestia CP. So Hestia Control Panel works on the Oracle's free tier using Ampere. So you can use your four CPUs, your 24 gigabytes of RAM, all for free using this method. Cyber Panel doesn't work on the Ampere processor. So um, this is a way around that issue. And this is going to be huge. So stay tuned for that video. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon because a lot of you are going to find this one very useful. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, to do this tutorial, you'll need CyberPanel already set up with an email box set up already. Uh, if you haven't done that, go ahead and do the tutorial earlier where I set up the email server with CyberPanel. That one's fairly easy to do. You can even do this on a free host with Oracle. I set that tutorial up there as well if you're interested. Um, on this one, I set it up using Vulture's free 30 days as well. So either way, you can try this for free. Um, but yeah, I've got my CyberPanel set up and my email box set up. I also want to add that this tutorial is not going to be that easy compared to my previous email tutorials. So it may not be for everyone, honestly. I think if all you need is a free email box with your domain name on the email address, you could just use a free Zoho email box or you can use Gmail with a free forwarding service. So either of those tutorials there will help you out. And for those of you who just want to run a WordPress website and get your WordPress notifications or WooCommerce notifications sending through correctly, you can just add Send in Blue with a WordPress plugin. So I've done that tutorial before as well. So uh, like this tutorial is not going to be for everyone. Um, maybe one of these might be more appropriate for what you're trying to do. But anyway, let's get on with setting up this SMTP relay on CyberPanel. And for SMTP, you'll need an SMTP service. There's two really good free ones. The first one is Send in Blue, and the other one is Mailjet. Both of these work very well. I've tested both of these. Um, I'll put links to both of them in the description. I'll use Send in Blue today. Send in Blue allows you to do 300 emails per day for free, Mailjet 200 per day. So let's go with Send in Blue for this tutorial. You'll notice the email address I'm using for this tutorial is alex at ideaspot.site. So I'm going to need to use ideaspot.site. I'm going to add this to my send in blue account so let's go ahead and work on that now so after you've signed up and logged into your send in blue account head over to your profile head to uh, senders and ip you're going to end up on this page senders domains and dedicated ips we're going to add our domain and we're going to be adding ideaspot.site this case but you put your own domain there click i would like to use this domain to digitally sign my emails click save now for the fun part we're gonna have to add all of these records to our dns manager so we've got one two three four uh, four of these to add. In this case, I'm using Namecheap for ideaspot.site. It's going to be similar no matter which uh, domain name uh, service you're using. I'm using Namecheap because it's, uh, it's cheap, obviously. But let's go ahead and add these records. So I'm under Domain List and Advanced DNS, but find wherever your DNS management system is in your domain host. So let's go back. Let's grab our first record. We're going to make a text record uh, for DKIM. And it's going to be here. So mail.domainkey underscore. And let's do that. Uh, let's go add a new record. And we're going to add that text record there. The host is mail.underscore.domainkey. And the content is all this stuff. Throw that in there. Hit uh, save. We're all good. And head back to send in blue. After we've done that, you can click 
please verify. It can take a minute or so before you get the, the tick to appear. So um, let's not worry about that yet. We'll try it again a little bit later, but let's go ahead and do our next one here. Copy that. And that's going to be another text record. In this case, we're going to be a text record. This is just on the root. So we use at here. Um, sometimes you have to leave it blank. Sometimes you put at, but copy that in. Let's do our next one. And um, next one is going to be another text record. So that is just, again, it's just on the root. So text record at that one there. Perfect. Now this one is on underscore D marks. So let's grab that. And we're going to add that text record there, underscore D mark. And this is the content we put in. That looks all good. I should also add that if you've already got a D mark and you've already got an SPF record in your DNS setup already, you want to remove them and replace them with these ones. You may actually want to combine your SPF records if you want to send from multiple email services. But in this case, we'll just use send in blue. Um, so we'll just copy whatever they gave us here. Um, for our SPF record. Now, hopefully this has been long enough and these records are ready to verify. So I'll click verify again. That is okay, we've got a green tick. Try this next one. Green tick, sweet. Oh, that one didn't go yet. There we go, configured. And come on, let's go. Yes, I am done. So once we've got all the green ticks there, we'll get our green tick here. So we're all done with uh, setting up our domain in Send in Blue. Next step on Send in Blue is our SMTP and API. So we're going to head over there, or you can get there through the top menu there. Either way is cool. Let's go over to there. And under our SMTP tab, we're going to create a new SMTP key. So this is going to be the password we're going to use for our SMTP account. Um, so I'm going to name it um, just Cyber Panel here. Click Generate. And this is going to give us our password. So make sure we copy this and keep it safe for later. So this is going to be our password uh, for our SMTP later on our username is going to be our email address associated with our account our port's going to be 587 and our server is going to be there so keep that handy along with our password all right now we're going to connect to our server using ssh i'm using putty for windows you can get that from putty.org but i'm going to connect to my server here great once we're connected we can change to super user so sudo uh, space SU and a dash. I'm going to put all the commands that I use on my blog. So link in the description so you can just copy and paste all the commands in here. So you'll have a little hash mark here that um, indicates you're under the root um, rather than a regular user. So make sure you've got that. Also, when you're copying and pasting, uh, just right click to paste when you're using putty with Windows. It makes it quite easy. All right, next step, we have to edit our postfix config. So uh, this is Postfix is the software that runs our email on Ubuntu. So we're going to go into the main config here and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. So on our terminal there, I'm going to hold the down arrow, the down arrow on my keyboard and scroll down to the bottom of this config file. And then I'm going to add this config into our file. So I'm going to copy and paste it in there. Right click to paste into our terminal here. And just pay attention to this line. This is, is for SMTP relay on sendinblue.com. So if you're using a different SMTP service, you want to change that. Um, but that should be all good. So once you've pasted that into our config, again, I've just got this in notepad, but you can copy and paste straight off my blog from the description. Um, so that looks all good. I'm going to Press Control X to exit here, and we'll get prompted to save. So we press Y for yes, and then we'll say file name to write. We're going to overwrite our config here, so we press Enter. And so that looks all good. Next step, we're going to add our send in blue password to Ubuntu here. So that is this command here. We're going to run that. That'll edit this password file. So this is where we put our password in. So the format is um, square brackets with our send in blue server colon 587 for the port 587 then we've got space and we've got our email address there that we used on send in blue so in my case i'm using idspot.au at gmail.com but your email address will be there then we've got another colon and then we've got our send in blue password that we generated earlier so all of that all of that's on one line we copy that and paste it in there so that's all on one line if i press the left arrow here we can see that it's all pasted in in that format Control X to exit, again Y for saving, enter to save that in. So that looks all good. Now we can secure our password by putting encryption hash on there with this command. And we can change our permissions as well to restrict access to that password file as well. So we'll change the owner and change the permissions. So um, add those commands in, press enter after each one. 
And finally, we uh, restart postfix and enable postfix. So go ahead and do that. That'll take a second and that looks all good. Yeah, we're all good. So we're back to our prompt. No worries. Now, because I was working a little bit too fast there, when I copied my password line there, I forgot to copy the first character there, that first square bracket. So I'm gonna have to repeat that. So I'm gonna copy that line for our password again. Again, go back and edit our um, password there. And you can see I didn't put the first square bracket in. Silly Alex. Actually, I can just type the square bracket in and then exit, save it, enter. Sorry about that. Now I'll just repeat those steps to secure the password, but I'll skip ahead. Awesome, so we should be all done now. We can send a test email. So I am logged into Rainloop here on Cyber Panel here, um, and I can go ahead and send a message. Let's send one to Gmail. So I'll send one to ideaspotclass at gmail.com. And I've made a test message I can put in here. I'll call this email um, uh, tutorial setup. There we go. Send that through and see if we can receive this in our Gmail. And so that might take a second. But sure enough, here we are in our primary inbox. So that works just fine. And we can see if we click the three dots there and show the original message, just check that you're getting a pass on your SPF, your DKIM and your DMARC. Your DKIM should resolve to your own domain name there. You'll notice that this is going through the SMTP relay of send in blue. So everything's working perfectly. One last tip for those of you using the Oracle Cloud free tier, this will totally work on a default uh, AMD micro um, running Ubuntu and Cyber Panel. I've done that tutorial, like I mentioned earlier, but just make sure in your ingress rules that you've got all your email ports on here. So I've written those down for you here. The email ports are these ones, 25, 587, 465, 110, 143, and 993. Um, you should already have 80, 443, and 8090 from the previous tutorial. Um, if not, add the ones you need. So um, if you want to add say those ones just copy uh, those um, separated by commas add them on there paste them on for the destination port range your source the idr is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 and you can add a description in there just say cyber panel email and go ahead and add those on um, but uh, if you're using a different uh, host with a different network firewall just make sure you've got all the correct ports allowed for your email service Again, this is going to work fine on the AMD Micro, but it's not going to work on the Ampere Arm. If you want something that's going to work on Ampere Arm, stay tuned for my next video because Hestia Control Panel is going to work really well. You can have all that extra RAM and CPUs with the free tier Ampere Arm processors, and it's really quite easy. It's actually easier than the video we did today. So make sure you've hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and check out that next video. I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people who follow the channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.